let's create table one. Before we do that, we need to load the package. So we will load the package here. We say library and then GT summary and press Ctrl Enter to load the library. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will use a built-in dataset called infart. So type question mark infart in the console and check about the data set. So this is the data set about infertility after spontaneous and induced abortion. It is a match case control uh, case control study, um, but we are not too concerned about the case control uh, match case control condition. What we are really interested in are some variables that we can um, demonstrate uh, creating table one and two. So we want education, age, priority, number of prior induced abortions, case status, number of prior spontaneous abortions. Let's create another block of R codes. To do that, move your cursor here, click and choose R. And we'll give it a name called table one minus default setting because we are going to use the function without uh, giving any inputs except that data set. So let's write that data set in part and then Piping symbol. And then we are going to use dbl underscore summary function and bracket. That's it. And we are going to run. This produces a really nice looking table one, uh, which is great, but uh, th there is something that we can improve, uh, like the layer here. And also the head assertion and also we may consider to remove the percentage sign. Now let's change something. Let's first remove um, the variable 7 and 8 which uh, basically tell you about the match case control con condition which we don't want. Okay so strident and pull dot strident. So to do that let's decollapse it and make another code block and we will leave it is as table one minus customize setting and then we give it a data set in front pipe symbol and then tbl underscore summary and then here press enter so that it will give you a nice operation and then we will put include argument and you have to give a vector of variables so we say education h priority in juice we will put case status to the last so we will say spontaneous And then case. Let's run this. So this is much better. So you can see that uh, we don't have variable number seven and eight now. But we still don't have the labels for variables either. So let's put them. So the next uh, argument is called label. And then for the label, you have to put it in the list. And then we can put education as education of mother, age, age of mother in year. And then priority, you say count of pregnancy in use we say number of prior in use abortion 
Now for the spontaneous, we say number of prior spontaneous abortions. And lastly, case, it is case status. Okay, now let's run this. Now it looks much, much better. But now I see the problem, which is the decimal point. So as you can see, uh, for the education of mother, we got the um, discrete number, and then the percentages with one decimal point in this level, and here it does not have a decimal point, and this one does not have a decimal point. So let's fix the uh, digits or decimal points. So to do that, uh, we say digits, and then we give a list. And we say all categorical. We give it a vector of zero, which corresponds to the first statistics, which is the frequency. And then we give it a one decimal point, which corresponds to the uh, second statistics, which is the percentage. And for the Continuous variable. We also give it one and one, and let's put a comment here. So you can see that uh, for the category available, we will show frequency and percentages, right? So we got a frequency which is zero decimal point because it does not make any sense to give a decimal point here. And then for percentage, for percentages, we got the um, uh, one decimal place. And for all the, for all continuous variables, we got one decimal points, no matter what. And again, we uh, for the continuous variable for age, it is showing um, median and interquartile range. But for the count of pregnancy, we also want to show uh, median and interquartile range. So let's imagine age is uh, normally distributed. So we will um, we will show age. Uh, with mean and standard deviation and count of pregnancy with median and interquartile range. Okay, so let's do that. So to do that, we will give um, another argument called statistics. And then we will specify as a list. And then we say that, okay, for age, um, This should be in the curly bracket and also within a quotation. So for age, we will say mean and we want standard deviation within a bracket. So, and also whatever we say, whatever we mention as statistics, we have to put it under, uh, you know, within the curly bracket. So we want mean with standard deviation in the bracket for age and for the parity uh, we want median so median is a statistic so we, we need to put it in here and interquartile range is P25 and then we want to space with a comma and then P75. So these statuses should be within the curly bracket. And we want the bracket, uh, we want to put the intercardial range in a bracket as well. 
and we put a comma here. So the statuses, uh, we say age and priority in this format. And also, we want all category call um, to remove the percentage symbol. So we say, OK, uh, small m, which is this uh, number for sub-level. And also within the bracket should be the percentage sign. And then we don't, we don't want the percentage symbol. Okay, let's run this one. So you can see here that we got the uh, percentage simple remove. And then for H, we are showing mean and standard deviation in one decimal place. And also for the For the count of pregnancy, it is not changing. So we need to say uh, this is continuous. So to do that, we go here and then say type equal. And then we don't bother with the list because we will modify only one variable. So we say parity and with a tilt sign and then say conte us and then put a comma at the end and then let's run this and this should give us the correct answer so for age we got main and standard deviation for the counter pregnancy we got median and intercontinental range so